Is there anything better than a big juicy pub burger? Yeah, a big juicy lamb pub burger. You know, I always say that lamb is one of my all time favorite meats, so I am all about this recipe. I'm gonna give you my take on a perfectly grilled lamb burger that is loaded up with toppings and I'm doing it in partnership with my friends over at the American Lamb Board. The first thing we need to do though, is knock out a little bit of prep with those toppings. Sound good? Let's cook. One of the toppings that I absolutely love with lamb burgers are pickled red onions. They are incredibly easy to make, only take about 20 or 30 minutes, which is great because we can do everything else while these are sitting. I've got a large red onion. We only need about a quarter of this though. So what we're gonna do is just slice off the ends, slice it in half, remove that outside peel. We're gonna then slice this in half and just thinly slice this. And now for that pickling liquid, I have a half cup of red wine vinegar. What we're gonna do is add in one tablespoon of sugar and two teaspoons of sea salt. We just wanna whisk this together until it is completely combined and that sugar and salt has dissolved into the liquid. And then at this point, we just simply add in our onion and submerge them, pop them in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes and we'll be good to go. And now to make one of my all time favorite sauces, tzatziki. You see me do it in my souvlaki. It is so good and it's gonna be extra delicious with this lamb burger. All we wanna do is prep this up. So we are only gonna need half of it. So we're just gonna slice it in half. Then we're gonna peel the half. Next, all we wanna do is cut it in half again and seed it. And then we're gonna shred it right into a colander. Finally, grate both halves of the seeded cucumbers right into that colander. Be sure to have a bowl underneath. We're gonna season with a half teaspoon of salt. Mix everything around. This is gonna help release some of the liquid and make sure everything stays crunchy. Now, next, I have one cup of Greek yogurt in a bowl. We're gonna add one finely minced garlic clove, followed up with two teaspoons of finely minced dill, a quarter cup of olive oil. Next, we're gonna squeeze in the juice of one half lemon. Now go back over to the cucumber. See that it's releasing all that liquid. That's great. It will not oversaturate our tzatziki sauce. Mix everything around, get as much liquid out as possible. Add the cucumbers to the bowl. We're gonna season it now with salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Give it a mix until it is completely combined. Set it to the side and then it's lamb time. Lamb is such a great lean meat. It's incredibly tender. It's jam packed with protein, zinc and B12 among many others. It may also help increase your immune system. And of course it's loaded with delicious flavor. It's one of my all time favorite proteins. Along with amazing nutritional properties and taste, by purchasing American lamb, you directly support the farmers and ranchers in all of your surrounding communities. So I've got two pounds of ground lamb here. And what we wanna do is form four eight ounce big old pub style lamb burgers. So what we're gonna do is just transfer this right into a bowl. And then I've got some spices to add. Start with one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, a half teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of dry oregano. This is optional, but I have a half teaspoon of sumac if you want to do that, totally optional again. Next, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And then to finish it off, remember I had that little quarter red onion left? We're gonna finely grate this up using a microplaner, a very fine grater or zester. And then we're just gonna do the same thing with two cloves of garlic. And Comey's, really quick, a couple of things. You can season the burgers before you put it on the grill. You don't have to add the salt and pepper in the mix. Totally up to you. Also, you can take some of these ingredients away. If you don't like coriander, if you don't even have sumac, it's no problem. Just don't use them. You'll be good with the cumin and the salt and pepper. I'm telling you, there's so much flavor in this. Using clean hands, gloves, or a spoon, mix everything together thoroughly until it is completely combined. You've got a lot of spices and seasonings in there. It needs to work through that meat. Now what we want to do is form four eight ounce lamb burger patties. So take a quarter of it right off the bat, pack it in tight, make sure it is formed into a circle. We're gonna set it to the side on a sheet tray line with parchment paper. Now a couple really quick tips so that our lamb burgers do not turn into round lamb meatballs. Whenever you heat up protein, it wants to tighten up. So we're just gonna flatten each of these out just a little bit more. We wanna make sure they still cover the bun though, aren't going over and aren't too small in the inside. Then the next thing, take your thumb right here, okay? And then press down 
right in the center. This is gonna stop that middle part from pushing up and making a meatball out of our lamb burger. Let's take them right outside to a hot grill in between 550 and 650 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to lay down those burger patties, immediately close the door on the grill. We're gonna cook them for about six to seven minutes. We're going to come back, it starts to turn brown around the outside. We know we're good. We're gonna give it a flip. We're gonna cook it for five to six minutes on this side. The USDA recommends that ground lamb reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Close the door, finish cooking it. We're going to come back. Let's have a look. You can see how juicy and perfectly cooked everything is. What we wanna do is remove all the lamb, put it on a sheet tray, a plate or platter, whatever you have. We're just going to let it rest for about three to four minutes before we plate up our lamb burger. Seriously, try not to eat the lamb while it's resting. It smells so good. Now for the bun, this part's up to you a little bit. Just give it a quick toast on the grill. I like to use a Kaiser or an onion bun. If you wanna use brioche or pretzel, totally up to you. And I'm telling you, We'll always go back to these simple fundamental techniques, grilling your burgers at the right temperature, using those spices. I'm telling you, put these things into practice over and over again. It will absolutely elevate your everyday cooking. Let's plate this up. Add a nice big handful of fresh arugula leaves to that bottom toasted bun. Next, I'm gonna add on a few sliced dill pickles, our beautiful ground lamb burger. Hit it with some of that tzatziki sauce, spread it all around, make sure it's all over there. Then the pickled red onions is going to add so much flavor to this. And then I like to finish off with some crumbled feta cheese and a little bit of chopped fresh mint. The seasonings and flavors in that lamb burger, the pickled red onion, the tzatziki, all of it together, the flavor combo is fantastic. And I'm telling you what, this is how you do a lamb pub burger. You need to do this ASAP. But if you love lamb, you have to check out my grilled lamb loin chops. It's got a little cherry sauce on there. So good, got a great video, I'll see you on there.